Paul and his brothers are getting married. And they asked me if I could be a part of the marriage, you know, just to wash or something. I thought, maybe I could bring down some mariachis or something. But that's okay. Me just being a part of it, sitting down, watching this marriage is good. Now we're back in Preston. We had to go back to the same place just to kind of have almost a, a year reunion. And it's, it's been awesome to be back here with everybody. And so we're back here shooting the wedding scene. It's pretty much my soulmate. What LaFonda means to Kip is, is everything, you know? And uh, I don't know. I, I think, it, I mean, it's, it's so silly and absurd. It really is. But at the same time, it's really sweet, you know, that um, there's this small, dorky, white guy who can get this voluptuous black beauty. We've already grown to love each other, you know, by heart, and not necessarily about the color or the height difference, because that's pretty obvious. You know, Kip and I are really, like, in love, love, because we've had this time, and he's got his braces off, and LaFonda's, like, got them all together. And... <laughs> Hi, Napoleon. Napoleon, I'm sure there's a babe out there for you, too. Peace out. Napoleon whips out one last amazing skill. They asked me, like, all right, John, you ready to get on the horse? And I said, well, actually, you know, I've had my horsemanship merit badge. I, t I got in scout camp. Here, horsey, this way, John. It was fine just trying to stay on, which wasn't too bad. It was, like, okay, this is kind of a little uncomfortable. And we came down pretty fast, but I was like, you know, I just pull back and I'm sure it'll slow down. And I was just thinking, you know, I think I'm okay. You know, he was going really fast and he wasn't slowing down. But I figured this horse isn't totally stupid. He's not gonna run into the camera crew and run right into everybody. He's gonna stop, which is what he did at the last second. I think the best thing about shooting this wedding scene is um, and hooking up with everybody again and being out here in Preston. We were all really excited to come back out here. When they told me they were shooting the scene, right away I, I was, I jumped on board. I said, oh, I'm, in, I'm in, please, get me in. Put anything for Pedro. Have you heard about the dance? Yes. Who are you going to ask? That girl over there. She braided my hair one Summer time. Wheatley? So cute. How the heck are you going to do that? Build her a cake or something. I think the reason that people respond to Napoleon is um, because of the varied characters. When people watch the film, I think that they're able to connect with, you know, if it's not Napoleon, it's Deb, or if it's not Deb, it's Kip, or Uncle Rico, or Pedro. There's nothing out there like this. I mean, you have a movie that literally has no sex, no profanity. You could see the humanity in all these characters, and I think that's, that's more the reason why people are falling in love with this film. I like your sleeves. They're real big. Thank you. Deb and Napoleon still have some time. They need to make it through high school, and he needs to grow up a little bit. Sorry. I think in the future they might find in their hearts to unite for eternity.